hey guys i'm here again with another video welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome 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 i hope that you consider hitting that like and subscribe button and leaving me a comment and don't forget to hit that notification bell as well so you are notified every time i upload content so we are back with another video for our savings challenges for april if that is something that you are interested in stay tuned Alright guys, so we're going to jump right into this video. We are going to be cash stuffing some of our savings challenges. So we are going to jump right into this cash stuffing. How has everyone been doing? Leave down in the comment how you are feeling now. Leave me an emoji of how you feel at this moment. Alright, so we will be cash stuffing... Um, $100, so I have 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 92, 3, 4, and 100. Uh. What I said? <laughs> I think I counted that wrong, y'all. Let me count again. So I have 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 97, 98, 99, 100. So we have $100 that we will be cash stuffing today. And we are going to first start with our monthly savings challenge, which is for April. I was about to say March. All right, so we are going to pull this out. The total amount to be saved for the month of April is $215. So we are going to get started on this. All right, so let's see what we will do first. So I have 25, 27, 28, and 29. So go ahead and take that out. A two and two ones. So I did it in different colors for the raindrops so you can taste the rainbow. <laughs> All right, so that is the only one that I'm going to be doing for my monthly savings challenge for this um, stuffing. So, oh, I guess I need this money here, Donna. So this is $29 that we will be adding here. So this is for the month of April. Um, so we are going to move into our A5 savings challenge. And y'all, guess what? I have a new savings challenge book that I'm getting ready to release. I think um, I have my cover like I want it. I've been kind of like playing with it going back and forth. I'm not sure. But y'all be on the lookout for my new of savings challenge book so let's see what we will be doing today all right so emergency funds do we want to stuff anything here i haven't did a scratch off in a while i feel like i haven't done savings challenges in forever i don't know why it seems like um forever since i've done a savings challenge do I want to start on my $20 savings challenge here? Because we did finish the 10. All right, so we did finish the $10 savings challenge, as I was saying. Um, but we are going to, and I need to clean this off because I may be doing this again. Um, let's see. What do I have in my scratch-offs? Let's do a scratch-off. Do I want to do a scratch off? Yes, no, maybe so. Okay, let's do a scratch off. 
I need a coin to do a scratch off. All right, so let's go. Fingers crossed, let's go here. <laughs> All right, so we have thirty six dollars. So let's do twenty, thirty, thirty five, and thirty six for my scratch off. And this will go in for fun. Is it for fun or just do it? Let me see. Y'all, listen, I feel like I haven't scratched off in I don't know how long. So I have 155, 6, 7, 8. So yeah, that's about right. Yeah, I think it's here. So we're going to throw this thirty dollars in thirty six dollars in here, and this fifteen hundred was from another savings challenge. Yeah, so this is right. So now in our scratch off, we have one hundred. 50, 70, 80, 85, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94. And when we finish this savings challenge, it will be a total of $500. Okay, so this is, let's just do it, it is here. So I have one $5 bill and three tens. So let's do a E here. So I'm gonna take out five. And this savings challenge will be 150 when I finish. All right, so. We have, we should have a total of 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and $30 in here. So that is 20, 25, and 30. All right. Um, so let's go and do Wait, hold up. That's a thousand. Then I got fifteen hundred here. Is it fifteen hundred? Oh no, it's not. Okay. Okay, I confused myself. This six hundred and thirty dollars for my ten dollars savings challenge, and I have not decided where I'm going to put that. So that is just in the bank. I have not put it in um, a specific specific category yet because I do have buckets set up on my online savings account. I have buckets where I could allocate money to each different bucket. Like if I have for my emergency funds. I have um, this $1,500 in there already. And then for, I think I got one for car maintenance. I have one for, um, why I can't think of what I have one for y'all. I can't remember what I was thinking funds I set up on my online savings account, but you get the picture. It's just different buckets that you can set up and then you can set your goal amount and then you can set your date amount, your date that you want to reach that amount. So um, 
I just have it sitting there. It's not in, like I said, a certain bucket. But once I decide where I'm going to put that $630, I will be moving that out of here and putting it into my um, sinking fund binder. Oh, and I do have one for taxes on there as well. And I think, let's see how much I have in taxes. Let's see if I can put some money in here. So let's do 10 in taxes. And you know, I cannot color in a bag until it is $50. So I'm going to put that 10 in there and then let's just do emergency funds. Let's throw 10 in there. I might throw that whole 20 in there and see how much I can, if I can color in a bag. So each one of the bags for my savings challenge, I think it's 30, I mean for my emergency funds, I think it is $35. At $35. So I have $140. So if I add 10, okay, I won't be able to color in one because that'll still give me only $15. So I'm just going to add 10 there for right now until we can color. And then let's see if we have a 10 for bingo. See if we can color in something else. Oh, I don't want to do another scratch off because I already know it's going to be more than $10. And I do have a 10 for um, bingo. And when we finish bingo, it will be $1,000. And you guys know that this book can be found on my um, online store, which is www.currencyqueen.com. The link will be down in the description below. It'll be in the description and you can click that and it'll take you straight to my store you guys can browse around see if you like anything if not just go ahead and sign up for my um, email list sign up on my email list and yeah so this last 10 will be going into my bingo envelope I don't know why I did that. And y'all, I can make this book without the Diva. If you prefer um, one of these books and don't want the Diva, I can do that as well. I've had several people to order them, but they didn't want the, the little lady on here. So if you send me a message or uh, if you send me a message and let me know, but you don't want the diva on there i will definitely not print her out with the diva but that is all that i have for my savings challenges for my a5 binder i hope that you all enjoyed it as much as i did this is my favorite thing to do is my savings challenges so um i guess i lost my train of thought i just said yeah, I guess I lost my train of thought. But that is all for this video. I really appreciate you all for staying this long. If you are one that watches the whole video, I'm going to put an emoji up here. Drop that down in the comment and let me know that you stayed to the end of this video. I will really appreciate that. But until the next video, remember to hustle hard, budget hard, and pray harder. Bye.